So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a revenue attribution report across channels for the different funnel steps and different attribution models based on the revenue attribution table that you'll get from the Dream Data export. So I've already imported the data set, so we can go ahead and make a pivot table. And we can see we're already using the data set revenue attribution. We'll need to change the timestamp since we are wanting to do deals. So we want to count when the deal was happened. That is stored in the revenue timestamp field. So drag that in here. Then for the row dimension, we wanted to do channels. So we want to the breakdown based on the different channels. Drag that in here. For the column dimension, we want to do the revenue models. So that represents our funnel that is set up. That is stored in the revenue models column. Then we also wanted to do it based on the different attribution models. So we go in here and find the attribution model column. Drop that also into the column dimension. Then for the metric, we want to do attributable deals, which is the deals that are then attributed through the different channels according to the to the attribution model that we're looking at. We could also have chosen the revenue and then we would of course get the attributed revenue to the specific cell. Now we're doing the deal. Then we can also look at the, the influence deals where we would be counting the number of unique deals that was happening for each funnel step. So then we'll be counting the column deal ID. So drag that in here and make sure that we have chosen count distinct deal IDs. So then we actually have our breakdown here. You can see now we get the different funnel steps. We have our attribution models and we have our metrics here. To make it a little bit more visible, we'll add some controls to it as well. So we add a date range control. And we also go ahead and add a drop-down list that will be able to filter down on attribution model, since usually we're only interested in looking at one attribution model at a time. Go in and drop that in here. So now we actually have a very simple report that are able to break down our attribution based on channel, attribution models, and funnel steps. Let's see how it works. You go to view. So we can choose a specific time range. So we could take this year to date. We apply that. Then we go and see the attribution model. We choose maybe only to look at the W shape model. And then wait for a day to load. And now we can see that we have each channel down here based on how much deal is attributed to each channel across the different funnel. This is the demo data, so it's a relative simple funnel with only becoming SQL and Nubis. And we can also, in this deal ID column, see how many deals was actually touched by this channel. 